Right, uh, next let's look at some essential function questions. Again, should be useful for uh, IGCSE paper 4 for Cambridge 0580 and 0607. So here we go. Um, we're given some functions. f of x is 2x minus 1, g of x is uh, 1 over x, and h of x is 2 to the power x. And so let's find h of 3. Uh, okay, so h of 3 simply means that we re replace the x that was here with 3, so therefore x becomes 3, so we just get h of 3 is 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. That's the first one. Second one, um, f of g of 0.5. Um, basically, this is like a compound function, so step number one is to work out what g of 0 0.5 is. Uh, we do that, we get g of 0 0.5, we basically put 0 0.5 instead of x, so 1 over 0 0.5, which is going to give us 2, and then we've got an answer of 2, and therefore we now put this answer of 2 into f of x. So let's see, there we go. So f of 2 is going to be 2 times 2, put 2 in there, take away 1, answer is 3. Okay, the third one um, is the inverse of f, uh, the inverse of uh, f of x. So this is not uh, 1 over f of x, this is the inverse of f of x. Okay, so the method for doing this, so step number 1 is just to rewrite this as y equals 2x minus 1. So there we go, y equals 2x minus 1. Step number 2, we swap the x's and the y's because in effect an inverse uh, is a reflection in the line y equals x which reflects, which swaps the x's and the y's around. So there we go, so x equals 2y minus 1. And then step number 3 is to rearrange this to make y the subject. So add 1 to both sides and then divide by 2. So there we go, I've rearranged uh, to make y the subject. So x plus 1 over 2 is equal to y. Okay, next one. Find f of f of x. This is one that people find a bit more difficult. I would probably recommend um, actually just writing out the function twice. So f of x is 2x minus 1. Write it out again. f of x is 2x minus 1. The reason that you can then do that is you can actually then see what's happening. So f of f of x basically means put f of x into the x that you see here. So f of f of x replace the x here with 2x minus 1. So there we go, so I get 2 bracket 2x minus 1 minus 1, expand that out, it's going to be 4x minus 2 minus 1, so 4x minus 3. Remember f of fx does not mean the times together, it's a compound function, but put all of the f of x into the x of your second function. Okay, and then the last one, uh, they like to throw this one in sometimes. Basically, if you have uh, a function and it's inverse, in effect, they cancel each other out, and all you're left with is whatever's in the bracket. In this case, all that's going to be left is x. Okay, so that's as simple as that. You could, if you were trying to do this, actually try and work out what the inverse of 2 to the power x is, um, possibly using logs. Uh, but again, it's much, much easier uh, if you just know this little rule here. So h and the inverse of h just cancel each other out, and what's left is just x. Okay, and then the very last one, just to throw this one in as well, because they often ask this one, solve f of x equal to 2. Um, remember, f of x was 2x minus 1. Okay, what we don't do here is put x equals 2 in here, so we don't do 2 times 2 minus 1. Um, what we do is we say the function is equal to 2, so f of x is equal to 2x minus 1, so 2 is equal to 2x minus 1, and then we solve that equation, so 3 is equal to 2x, therefore 3 over 2 is equal to x.